there YouTube and welcome to Bingo's Garage again. So I got some time, it's cold, it's going to get better here, the weather's starting to change. But um, we're going to talk about prepping for travel because it's almost that time of the year where we're going to start traveling. Um, we only got another month or so, weather will start getting good. Weekends will be nice, we'll be out riding. Our first trip is only... Um, let's see. Three months away we got 90 days which isn't that big deal but we're taking a nice camping trip for four days so some of the stuff that we do for prepping for camping since we both ride our own bikes i really haven't covered her bike and how important that can am is to our travel because it's a three-wheel motorcycle now a three-wheel motorcycle actually you can tow a trailer with it actually has a towing mode which is great too but with a can am they have their own trailer and you can get a different trailer we use it to tow the timeout camper um it's, it's nice that she has three wheels. That means you have three wheels of braking. And the hitch is super easy to install. It's a plug and play. The hitch, I mean, it's that simple to put the hitch on. And then other things we've done to her bike to make it easy to travel. Back when we had the 2016, um, we put a bag on the back seat. But to put fuel in the bike, you have to lift the seat on their RT model. Corbin makes a seat. It has a door on it, which I'll show you in a minute. So you can put that door on there, and now you don't have to lift the seat. So that opened up us to carry much more stuff whenever we travel. That way she can put stuff for all her clothes and anything else we can carry. So we can load down pretty good when we travel between the campers. And I'm going to tow my other trailer. We'll be set for traveling for months at a time. We'll be good to go. And another thing we're going to go over is uh, packing cubes. These are neat little things. There's tons of videos about them on YouTube. That's where I found them at. Um, when you pack in your bag, you know, you put your clothes in everywhere. Well, you, what you do is you put everything in cubes like this. You put all your socks in one and all this and the other. And you have a big one to put your pants and your shirts in. And you can have one for your toiletries or whatever. But it makes it so much easier that when you're rummaging through your bag, you don't mess it up. And we're, we're going to do a whole video on the packing cubes and how we use those. But uh, you don't mess it all up and you rummage through everything. So if you get a chance, look up packing cubes. They're definitely cool to get into and, and, and look into getting for when you travel on the bike. They make it so much easier when you when you go places and you're, oh, I need to get my underwear. To, well, it's in this bag, this bag, this bag. Take one out. It doesn't leave it a mess. Then you can leave one in there that's empty and put all your dirty clothes in that one and fill that space up with a dirty clothes one so that you just bring it back with you. It saves hassle that way, I guess. It saves time, but it's just an all-around plus. But um, we're going to get over on this bag here, and I'll show you what this bag looks like on the back of her bike. It's one of the big touring bags. Now, I put it on the back of my Harley, and I used it back in 2018, but I have a backrest, and it actually pushed me forward, which I leaned back a lot, so it really was uncomfortable for me. So really, I don't even use it anymore because it's so big. But it works on the can am because it has those nice little rails on the side and it's nothing to put a couple bungees and bungee it right to the rails on the side of the bike and it sits right on there and it gives her a backrest and it has tons and tons of storage i mean it's like the trunk plus the saddlebags on the harley all in one bag plus her front bag her two side bags and her back hatch it's got again she's packed for packed for bear and it works out really good so Here's this big karaokin bag. I think this is uh, the monument. As you can see, it's got, you can put water bottles in here. So you have extra water when you get down the road. You can put uh, uh, things through here. You have a mesh on the top if you want to hang your coat up there. You have a bag here for a, a compartment for your maps or whatever. Um, I did have a cover, believe it or not. It didn't attach and I lost it going down the highway last time we used it. Um, as you see, we have vacuum seal bags. We got a whole thing on vacuum seal and stuff that we just keep in here because we know it's the sort of place we're going to use it. It's got uh, some mesh in here, but it's a big compartment. Like I said, that thing is just huge. You got side meshes here. So you can separate your stuff in here too. But um, you think about the size of this thing. Like I said, it's got D rings here, hook a D ring here. I run it through here to the other side down to that side to this side and this hooks right to this handle which works fantastic and uh, keeps it right here and if you look at the distance 
Here's the back of the seat, so it makes her a backrest right here. That makes a big difference with the spider. Um, like I said, it, it works good for this because it's huge and she's got tons of room. She's not a big woman, so it gives her space too. Plus, it gives her all this carrying space she would need. And this is a can the Canham Spider trailer hitch. It's really, um, bigparts.com is where I get this stuff from. And these guys are really cool. Uh, there's a rod right there that goes through the axle. And this bolts onto this bracket here. And this is, here's your bracket. You have to take this off and this off and drop the two doors down to get the wiring harness. And it plugs into a splitter I have up there for power. And it runs off relays. And then you have to bring it right down through here. And then I just tie them up with, uh, what do you call it? Zip ties to hold them in place. But that's all it takes. And it's really easy to install and it makes a world of difference. And back to that seat. This is a Corbin seat. And as you see, it has a door, which is a big difference for an RT. We got this in 2016. I have the trickle charger set up there and this is so she can plug her phone in because it doesn't have a cigarette light or anything. And I run a power feed from the battery so it keeps her phone charged. But all she got to do is flip open this door. It's got a cool little spider in there. It's all got purple stitching. And that's where she puts her fuel in. And it's just open because that's where the wire comes out for the uh, trickle charger. Keep them on all winter. But that made a big difference as far as when we toured. So now we don't have to take this big bag off to put gas in a bike. Which is, which is a really big... Pain in the ass, to say the least. Um, so there's some quick tips with a can am with trailering it and spider, you know, track touring with it. Uh, things we do for touring. It's not a whole lot, but it, it makes a difference when you're touring. It makes it easier on you. And, and, and the more easier you make it, the better it is. So like I said, we'll have tons of space this year when we travel and touring around and camping. It should make it a lot, lot better. And uh, the can am spider is just, it's the best all around machine for your wife if she's going to ride. She has better stability. This has traction control and all that too. Uh, I feel safer with her on that versus two wheels. Uh, she can pull the heavier load with it even. Uh, yeah, when my knees go bad, I might get a can m versus a Harley. I don't know. But we'll see when it gets time to do that. But uh, yeah, that's just some quick tips on how to what you can use a can m for and uh, some of the advantages to a can m uh, they, they do have uh, their pluses. I'll give them that. You know, everybody cries about the two wheels versus three wheel thing, but a trike's a trike. It doesn't matter if the wheel's in the front, the wheel's in the back. A trike's a trike. It still goes. It runs great. It tows well. It handles well. I just don't like, if you don't lean, you're not, if you don't ever have to learn to lean or you don't learn to lean, it throws you off because you don't have to lean the bike. You actually twist to steer the bike and uh, that throws you off. And then the seats little slips, you kind of slip and slide right and left in it. Where the Harleys and the, and the two-wheel bikes, you kind of put you down into the seat. So it throws you off a little bit. But other than that, I mean, they're great. It's got tons of storage. You have the two side bags, the back bag, the front compartment, and she has a little thing in the middle she can put stuff in. So, and then, like I said, we put that under with a trailer. Pff, you'd be camping for days. And there's a lot of people out there towing on a couple of uh, motorcycle trailers, websites, and you know, websites, uh, Facebook pages I'm on. Uh, some really interesting things. And uh, next thing we'll be getting up to is uh, we're going to figure out how we're going to do solar this year. And I was watching some videos on. Um, Harbor Freight's got some really cool uh, solar panels. They might work well and then pretty much go from there. But uh, all, all's good. Anyways, uh, that was my quick dents on uh, touring with a Can Am Spider. Like I said, it's, uh, it's a nice little bike. And it goes well. And it's great for traveling and touring. Things like that. You've got tons of space. Uh, far more space than you get on a two-wheel bike. And... Uh, makes it a lot easier when you travel and just think about that size of that bag how much stuff you could put in that on top of towing a trailer and if you're a single passenger you're you're you're, you're golden so but uh, the seat kind of worked really good for that because uh it's got a little spider on a little purple spider it says corbin she really liked that shit so anyways thanks for watching this is beat around pa hit the like this is the subscribe button on this side over here got to hit the subscribe button and then uh, like my thing, share it, all that good stuff and come back and see me. All right. Like I always say, speed around PA and I'm out.